I'm Simon Curzon. I'm the owner of Zenith Motor Company. Uh, we're a repair and restoration shop, professionally restoring and maintaining Rolls Royce and Bentley cars, mainly from the early post war era. The car we're doing a video about today is LS GT231, and that's this car here we're driving. The restoration was broken up over about seven years with the first year being purely mechanical. This is the original engine for the car. Um, when we got the car, um, it, had a, uh, it had its original air conditioning set up, uh, which was done at N-Skips, and it had a, uh, a York-type compressor uh, running on an angle, which was always hard to keep the belts tight, uh, which was controlled by a jockey pulley, which oftentimes seized up. So we put it back to the Rolls-Royce style mounting, which is the way you see it here. Uh, we did go with a newer compressor, but it was a factory sand in, and they just work wonderfully, and they look great. Uh, we repiped all the air conditioning, um, and we added the air conditioning under the right front fender, which would have been done uh, factory had uh, it been ordered that way. We added a new uh, air conditioning relay, um, and the blower motors are the blower motors that came new with the car. We restored all the brakes. We were able to save the original servo lining, uh, but all the rest of the linings were replaced. Um, we resealed the servo extension. We replaced the master cylinders. We rebuilt all the original wheel cylinders for the car. Uh, we had those sleeved. These are the servo flap motors. Um, this is what controls the demist and the heat um, and allows airflow to where you need it where you, when you want it refinished everything and the correct cadmium and put them back together. This is the fuse box. We restored all the, the fuse box when we did the firewall restoration. We took it apart, we cleaned all the contacts, we replayed it uh, where necessary. And there's the original legend. After we finished the restoration, we used waterless uh, engine coolant and that allows us to open and inspect the coolant even when it's hot because there's no water or water vapor pressure. We removed the radiator and we used high efficiency uh, V-cell radiator core which we were able to get from a contractor in Pennsylvania. Uh, we restored the generator, uh, we rebuilt the carburetors, we rebuilt the distributor which was actually the reason the car came to us in the first place was uh, the gentleman had new points and condenser put in the car and unfortunately the other contractor couldn't get it to run just right. We restored the, the grill on the car. We had all the, all the vanes re-chromed. We re-chromed the front and the rear bumpers on the car. The mirrors were originally fit to the car. We found some new mirrors um, that were identical to the original ones. We pinstriped the car in-house. Picnic tables. All the windows were rebuilt when we had the car painted. We took all the window transmissions apart. We lubricated all of the chains. We rebuilt all of the uh, window channels with new weather stripping everywhere. The wood, of course, was refinished. And we went from a, a black interior to a red interior. The interior was done by Tom Hilborn. We rebuilt all the quarter windows and we even rebuilt the clutches for the quarter windows. So now when you go down the street, the quarter window will hold against the air and it won't go too far because we repinned it into the wood. Uh, we sourced a new old stock a triplex windscreen with sun dim. Uh, the car was delivered new with all sun dim glass. This was the original rear glass we saved uh, for restoration. Uh, the package shelf uh, was warped and water damaged when we got the car so we made a new parcel shelf for the car when we restored it. We made sure the car had all of its correct tools. This is the belt that holds the trunk lid up if necessary. This is the jack. This is the wheel socket. This is the, uh, the, the hubcap lever and the lever for the wheel socket. And then this is the air pump. We didn't have to source any tools. These were the original tools for the car. Uh, we did replate some of them during the restoration. 
This was one of the special features for the car. These were called James Young Sunshades, named after the coach builder James Young. And that's what you got there. This allows you to uh, switch the shock absorber between soft ride and hard ride. Turn signal. Owner's manual. Uh, this was its first in class, which it received in uh, Seven Springs, Pennsylvania. And then it received uh, Best in Show uh, in Orlando, Florida in 2015. The car just drives effortlessly. Um, we, uh, we really went to a lot of trouble uh, to make the car drive as good as it looks. The car is sitting on an original style uh, cross-ply tires, uh, which really give you the feel of what it was like originally, and the car just drives beautifully. We just couldn't have started with a better project than this car here uh, with 40,000 original miles and then a no expense spared restoration. So this is really one of the best cars in the country.